Hello, one and all, this is one of the tacos, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons of Dreadmore. When we last left off, we are on floor 14, or level 14, which is the penultimate level to the final level, which is level 15. We are almost at the end. Theoretically speaking, with this being a hardcore LP, this is always its near end. Uh, that could be at any time, but if we were to see this through to the very end, as ending as it could possibly go, there isn't too much left to that point. That double winger was tough to kill. And, oops. Why did I move back into it? I should have known I was going to do that. As always, we will do the same things that we've always been doing, that we know what to do. We watch our buffs, make sure our stacks don't get too close to zero, like our armor up, which just triggered itself, so don't gotta worry about it. We make sure our health doesn't get too low. We remember that we have plenty of potions to choose from, lots of ways to buff ourselves if we need to. And we keep moving. I do not know if I'm going to be marathoning this to the end. Um, like I usually do. It depends on how far I get in these next two videos. If I don't make it through floor 14, uh, I won't be. Because these floors... Um, always seem to have been okay stop that <laughs> seem to have been surprising me this entire time in this uh, LP about how long it's just been taking me to get through them for whatever reason uh, it's usually like a good two three videos per floor so if I don't make it to floor uh, 15 I'm not gonna do anything or like I'll just I'll wait till next week but if I do make it to floor 15, the trouble with floor 15, as I've said before, is it is of an indeterminate length. Um, it could take me the entire uh, video, like the entire two videos even, to just find Dreadmore, because he could be anywhere. And if I have to comb through the entire floor to find him, that's going to take a while. Uh, it's just how it is. I want to go that one and keep that one, just in case. So it could take the entire time, but um, if I make it there, like if I make it there in these two videos, I will probably just keep going because there's also the possibility it won't take me very long to find him at all. Usually it doesn't. I can't think of a, a single time... Uh, before where it took me the entire length like or the entire floor size of the floor to make it to uh, I cannot get past this at all nope I can smash these streets never mind I can't think of a single time where I had to explore the entire floor before I found Dreadmore uh, I remember sometimes where it took me a bit but I've never been to every single room trying to find him. I, I always find him before it gets that far. Clear all these trees. Let's go up. There's a yam. And another yam. For some reason, it's not letting me attack. Normally, when I'm holding an item, I can still attack. Not sure why, but I do need to think about going to a shop soon. Or at the very least, making a stop in the portal dimension. I don't know what kind of trap that was. I do know I want to get some distance between me and you. That was a hefty handed counter. You know what? I don't like you. I really don't like you. Where's my petrification? Become petrified, please. And asphyxiate yourself to death. 
I want nothing to do with you. Although he is resisting the asphyxiation damage. Makes sense. He's a mummy. But it does buy me enough time to get another stun ready. There was apparently an item there as my reward. A very powerful sword. We're okay. Yeah, I need to make a stop in the pocket dimension here just to drop some of this stuff off. Let's walk down here and do my crafting. Go to this and have ingredients. I figured that was going to happen. That's why I wanted to move down here instead of having it just stick it in one of these spots. And that would confuse me forever. I'm carrying quite a, quite a few items that I can drop off here, so... Isn't that one of the ones you used to craft something with? Oh, it is. It just wasn't showing up the first time, I guess. <laughs> or I just glanced right over it. Might as well make it into a material. I still have no good justifiable reason for doing any of this. We're at the end now. <laughs> Just you wait and see. I'm gonna find a recipe right at the beginning of floor 15 that's gonna be awesome! No. I doubt that. Sniffle. I'm pretty sure if I could have created this character uh, just by on my own instead of relying on the random generalization like I did, um, I would not be taking armor again. Yeah. At times, it was nice to have, but for the most part, it was pretty much just... kind of, like, not very helpful. The stat bonuses some of it had were okay, I suppose. I don't think I found that item. No, I don't think so. Alright. I think I would have gotten rid of it. The stat bonuses, like I said, were nice, but ultimately the ability to craft pieces of equipment um, hasn't been particularly useful to me. Even as a character who's been using armor, um, I've been finding most of the good stuff rather than uh, crafting it. There were a couple of ones where I crafted them, but even then I found the, the, the better one to quit eventually. Uh, do I want to... Actually, let us petrify the gnome. Get my stun out. The golem is on his way. Please stop countering when you're near death. Thank you. I'll move into you. Now I can't see anything. Now I can see one space ahead of me again. Now I can't see anything. I knew there would be a gnome somewhere. Hello, gnome. Slowly my vision will return to me. Like so. Put loot fisk in the loot fisk cube. I should have dropped off those holy hand grenades while I was in there. Oh well. I'll do that. Once we make it to floor 15, we're pretty much going to be done uh, hoarding things for the purposes of selling them. Like More so than I should have already long since been done doing it. But my instincts uh, force me to. Once I get to 15, it pretty much just is. There's no reason for it. <laughs> Like, now, there's a random, very small chance I could wander into something great, but, uh, once we get there, it's just not gonna happen. Something great to, to buy, I mean, at a shop. I could try pissing off a Brax, 
showing you all how that quests go. But that would be a pretty sad way to end the Let's Play. Just pissing off a Brax. We're going to leave that way open because that leads to the monolith that I am going to have to come back to if I want to complete that quest. And I've been doing 100% quest completion up to now, so no reason to stop yet. I am going to have to step on that, so I might as well try to get rid of it now. Spread these out nice and evenly here. While we wait for it to fall off, walk back into it. That's good of me. Get rid of that potato. And bat. How'd that plan go for you? Not well, considering that you're running away. You were. I want to go ahead and use the armor up. My stacks are getting a little low. Let's go ahead and deal with that yam before it wakes up. Um, I do have cheese rounds, so we'll hold on to that. Let's get this Cubian Horror. Come here. Stop. Stop with the magic. Tofu heals for 12. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Just close your eyes and imagine. That's funny. Potion of clear vision. That will help heal the darkness that the bats love to inflict on me. We are nearly done with this floor. I do think we are going to be in floor 15 in these two videos, but I always feel like that. It's just because some of these rooms take way longer in terms of length to complete than they are in terms of size. Alright. Slick. I could make one of these things, but what's the point? I will, however, flip the switch. You can flip it over and over and over. That one's stuck. Now we start going this way. By going back this way. Um, actually, I need to leave that area open. And it's gone. And you know what? That one's peaceful. I'm gonna leave it alone. Wanna come up here and loot whatever was in this chest. An axe! Oh, also, I didn't open this door. Or this door. Let's start going that way, but first, we might as well go up to this shop. Since we're in these part of town, you know. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. The grilled cheese up there. And the old ring, too. I can make another emerald ring if I have to. I made that one. And I've got I've got plenty of ingredients. <laughs> A room full of trees and a bunch of these guys. I don't like that there are this many of these guys. It's a quake. The quake breaks the trees. If I kill their leader, they'll scatter. Yep. The problem with them scattering is it's going to be hard to catch all of them. Buy that one just for the time being so it can't go anywhere. Counter block, counter block, counter block, counter block. Entire regiment of doppelgangers. See, we've only got about five minutes left in this video, and I still have this entire part of the map to clear. It just it takes longer than it looks like it should. It takes me a while to kill things. Because I got stuck with staff class weaponry. I didn't pick it. 
I didn't pick staff class weapon really for a melee based character. What had sword or something, you know? Let's clear those trees. Not step on that trap if we can avoid it. We can. And let's figure out what's over here. More bad guys. I'll have one of those guys trigger that. So they can bleed their own ass. And of course, I think the doppelgangers are immune to it, so that didn't accomplish very much. Please go away, thank you. And he's gone. And I will take that sandwich and I will turn that into nothing. And that apple into nothing. And. Oh! This is actually when you don't break. A small apple tree. As befits a tree with such a low hanging fruit, they've all been picked. Just a few bad apples remain on the ground. This is actually a considerable boon to uh, certain players. Um, there is actually a, I guess you would call it a, a skill type. The uh, it's like the a the angry vegan or the the angry vegetarian or something, where you get a lot of benefits from having fruit lying around. So. Having apples would probably help those guys quite a bit. Ooh. We'll have to compare these. Starting off at the top, well, actually, let's just look at armor straight up. 18, 16, 15, 13, so that's reduced. Uh, 10 lightning, 11 piercing, 7 piercing, no lightning, but it's got hyperbole in a 1. Excuse me, it's got the magic. That's the resistance, isn't it? Yeah, resistance. One hit point, one power. Plus two to which one is that? Trap sight radius? No. I'll keep the one I'm wearing. I can't let go of trap sight radius that easily. I can get rid of trap affinity at this point pretty much entirely because at this point, like, I'm not disabling any traps anymore. Like, that's that opportunity is kind of gone. But to see them and not walk right into them is still very important. Alright! Let's tie some Lutefisk! Take this blessing, great Lutefisk God! He didn't particularly care. Alright, let's go this way. Was there a door up there I missed? There was a door up there I missed, wasn't there? That's what it looks like to me on the map. Come here, Harbinger. Positive invincibility. I'll actually hold on to that one. Lock picks. Acidic slick. Bunch of reagents here. And an item to put in the cube for our first piece of loot fisk again. Not step in that trap, and let's go out here. Yeah, there was a door. All right, what's behind it? Big room. That didn't accomplish anything, and it's gone. If you could stop being a problem. Kill, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, well, I know there's stuff up there now. Axe to sell. Stun you before you start hitting me with all your bad magic. Let's kill you just to get rid of you. Ah! There was the item I needed. <laughs> so now I have to go all the way back down. I think I'd have missed that if I didn't see this room. I actually have a couple of those in my inventory. There are times where I just really run out of... Fine. Uh, run out of mana, so having a couple of bottles lying around is a good thing. 
Come here, you! And it's gone. Cast darkness on me. Alright, let's kill this slick and call it a video. That too, if I can. Nope, I can't. Thank you all for watching. This is Roman Taco signing off. And when we come back, trying to clear floor 14. I'll see you all later. This is Roman Taco signing off. Take care and bye bye.